I pray that you are having an amazing Christmas season. We have so many things to be thankful for. For the next few minutes, you're going to hear a word from one of our ministers here at the church. We are blessed with an amazing ministry team. Sit back and enjoy this message by one of our ministers. Welcome, Sanctuary family. I'm excited to join you tonight. Man, what an awesome couple weeks we've had with uh, Brother Venturini and uh, Brother Harrison last week, Brother Heath. Just an awesome time uh, of devotion this month. And so I want to share with you a little bit about the Christmas story and what it means to me. Uh, as I think about the Christmas story, one thing comes to my mind, and that is expectation. And so I'm going to talk to you tonight on I'm expecting. And so if you have your Bibles, Matthew chapter 1, uh, we'll begin reading with verse 18. It says, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But when he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not. I'm going to stop right here and tell you that 119 times in the King James Version of the Bible, either fear not or do not fear is in the Scripture. That lets us know that God is very intentional, that His people don't need to fear. And He tells Joseph, do not fear, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from his sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and he knew her not till she had brought forth forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. Imagine with me this story as Mary and Joseph both get the news and Mary uh, finds out as a young woman that's recently engaged, planning her big wedding day, planning to all of her dreams and hopes on this relationship she has with her fiance and going to be husband. And she gets the news that she now is pregnant and that the Holy Ghost has impregnated her. And she has to go and tell her fiancé, and knowing that he probably wouldn't understand and he wouldn't believe and he wouldn't even be able to comprehend what has really happened. And then imagine Joseph as your fiancé. Men, imagine if you had just got engaged and all of a sudden your fiance shows up and says, hey, I've got a funny story for you. Uh, I'm pregnant. Okay. Uh, how? Why? What's going on? I thought we were in a relationship. I thought we were planning on getting married. What's going on? And so Joseph loved Mary, but he didn't want to make an example out of her, so he went to hide her. And that's when the Holy Ghost or the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said, don't, don't fear, Joseph. What she told you is true. That which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. That which is conceived in her is from me. She's not lying to you. She's telling you the truth. But they were expecting. They both had a promise from God. Mary had a promise from God. And Joseph was confirmed. He confirmed that promise with Joseph. He told him, that which is conceived in your wife, you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. They both were expecting. They both had a promise from God. They were pregnant with promise. And, and I ask you this Christmas, uh, during this season, what are you expecting? Are you expecting God to do something in your family, in your life, in this world? Are you expecting a miracle? You see, God has placed in each and every one of us something great, something that he wants to birth through us, something that he wants this world to receive from our lives and from our relationship with him. 
If I could encourage you today, whatever dream, whatever goal, whatever passion, whatever it is that God has placed in your hands or placed in your life, don't doubt it. Don't doubt what the Holy Ghost has conceived in you. Mary could have went to Joseph. She could have went there with doubt. But even before any of the signs, even before anything was even known, she could have tried to get by with it and act like it was no big deal. But the Holy Ghost had spoken to her, and she went and she told Joseph, don't doubt. Even before you see the evidence or any sign that God is going to do it. If he placed it in your spirit, don't doubt what God is doing in your life and in your family. To the rest of the world, to our postmodern culture, to the doubters, to the haters, it, it might sound crazy. It, if it's from God, it, it's probably going to sound crazy. It's probably going to seem far-fetched. God doesn't operate in our ways. His, the Word says that His ways are not our ways, and His thoughts are not our thoughts. To our educated minds, it won't make sense. To our educated minds, uh, the will of God and the things that God wants us to do We'll not, we'll not be able to rationalize it, but God's not relying on our mind to rationalize what he's wanting to do. All he's wanting is our obedience to what he's wanting to do in our life. We need to stop thinking about how everyone will relate or even agree with what God is doing in our life. If they're going to confirm or say, you know what, I agree with you, I'm going to pray with you. You know what, sometimes people aren't going to agree with you and pray with you. Sometimes you have to stand by yourself. Sometimes it'll be just you and your family alone saying, we're going to follow the will of God and we're going to do what we're called to do. But it's up to us to wake up every morning expecting God to fulfill his promise in our life. If I can be transparent with you for a moment, which... Most of you that know me know I'm too transparent at times, but me and my family's on a journey right now. We're figuring out where the will of God is going to take us and what's going to happen with our future. But as I'm on this journey in this transition in my life, I wake up every morning. Every day throughout the day, I check my emails. I check my phone. I'm getting a hold of God. I'm talking to people. Why? Because I'm expecting every day that God's going to show himself or God's going to reveal the next step or God's going to show us what's going to happen. It's not that every day that it doesn't happen that God failed me. I'm just showing God every day that I wake up, hey, I'm expecting. I still believe the promise that you gave me. Every day I'm waking up believing that today could be that day. Today could be the day that the promise happens. And so we need to wake up every day with expectancy in our heart. God, I believe that you're going to do what you promised you're going to do. God, I trust you and I believe you. I know you place something down inside of me and I'm expecting you to do the miraculous and I'm expecting you to do what you promise. Be obedient to what you feel the Holy Ghost or the Spirit of God is speaking to you. My grandpa senior uh, used to always have a saying when I was growing up and he would say, trust your radar, trust your radar. Trust the Spirit of God that's in your life. Trust that Holy Ghost that He's placed inside of you. Trust Him. Believe Him. If He, if he tells you, if you feel something in the Spirit doesn't feel right, you know what? Don't do it. Because you got to trust your radar. If it's a God thing, it'll come to pass. People may never understand or approve of what God is doing in your life. But just keep expecting because you are pregnant with promise. I don't know about you. I'm expecting. Are you expecting? Amen. God bless you. I thank you for joining us this week. Hope you have a wonderful holiday. God bless you.